Hi, my name is Marcus. I've been living in this 3D printed house for a year now. We just had our yearly inspection. All right, let's step inside. Beautiful home. Thank you guys. We've got a, my dog here, his name is Cyrus. Nine month old pit bull husky. All right, come on, buddy. All right, guys, this is the front, front room walkway. Uh, when you first come in the house as you can see let me step aside here nice wide opening uh we've got the uh crown moldings up top here and all the walls are in great shape it's crispy cold in here yeah the energy is absolutely fantastic guys i mean that's one of our favorite things about living in here year and finding out uh, how things work in here, you know, being, being a year in here now. The energy efficiency is fantastic. That's one, of the, that's one of the major things we really appreciate living in Arizona. So you just had the inspection. Was anything challenging about the inspection uh, in terms of, like, did they say this is weird for a printed house? Or? No, actually, uh, actually, we've got really a lot of minor, pro not a lot of minor problems, maybe, but let me just say a couple minor problems that, that are definitely getting fixed. But other than that, no, nothing structural is going on like that. Yeah. Well, other than that, actually, come on, let's hang it right here. We got uh, uh, the custom cabinets that you guys saw the first yeah. time in here. And a lot of you guys were wondering how hard would it be to mount things on a wall? It's actually very easy. Uh, I use the lines on the walls to actually measure up to where I want to hang things. So that's really, really easy. Yeah, cool. You can get things perfectly level. Yeah, 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 definitely. Definitely. Uh, everything, uh, as you can hear the acoustics in here, man, everything kind of bounces off the wall in here, which I'm kind of getting used to and I kind of like. It saves a lot on, uh, a lot on yelling because the walls reverberate sound a lot in here. I think uh, it's less than last time I visited now that you got some stuff in the house. And yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot less than last time when you visited. But uh, this is a room that we're getting together right now, our workout room. Um, I'm waiting to get some mirror up and stuff like that. But uh, we've only been in here a year, so it's going to be a little while. I'm taking my time doing stuff. It's a great gym. Yeah, man. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. We're just getting started. I got a lot of stuff to do in there, like I said. Uh, here's the bathroom if anybody wanted to see. One of my wife's favorite places. But yeah, man, everything, like I said, was easy to mount. Not bad at all. Did your wife do most of the decoration? Or yeah, yeah. Yeah, she did. She did. Uh, actually, you see how she painted uh, some of the borders in here? Yeah, great details. Yes, we were, uh, you see all the white in here. We were thinking of it like having a coloring book. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So. Um, it matches the cabinets perfectly. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. Anytime, we can change it anytime we want to. All right, over here is, this is one of my favorite rooms. Alert, alert all you cowboy fans, sorry. But this is just another room that came out, it came out really good, man. Um, this is where I spend most of my time at. And like, we don't have any, we don't have any uh, problems going on in here at all. Everything was pretty easy to mount. So uh, this is my playroom. That's awesome. Yeah, man. Step into the kitchen and uh, check out these custom cabinets. Really nice, man. I really, I was really wondering how they were gonna get cabinets on these lines in here like that, but they really did really good in here. Awesome. And the LED lights, you can change the color on them? Yeah, man, I can change the color to anything we want. So that's one of my, that's one of my uh, things that I like doing. I, um, I'm planning on putting them, I'm planning on putting some outside the house in the front and the back. So like I said, it's, it's a lot to do. And it's a smart home. Yeah, so uh, we can uh, we can uh, work all the appliances with our phone, the garage. Uh, we can see our cameras with the phone, set the alarm. I mean, start the washer and dryer, pop the toaster. I mean, it's pretty. I mean, I'm not into any of that like that with the toaster and all that. But other than that, I mean, I mean, I got locked out one time with no keys and hit the mic cue and got myself back in. So that's that's a good thing. Yeah, man. So uh, this is a, uh, I don't know if you guys were paying attention last time. This is one of the things that we were trying to showcase with the, uh, with the printer, that nice rounded edge in the kitchen, which you can't, you can get that from wood, but it's going to cost you a little bit. So, but yeah, that's that man. And uh, the blue cabinets were a nice little twist to everything. Um, this is one of my favorite things in the, in the house, the waterfall uh, breakfast nook, man. That's, that's one of my, that's one of my favorite things. Big guy, thank you for being good boy. Good job. Uh, put lights underneath here too. Just some stuff for now. I mean, who knows? I mean, this nothing's permanent yet. This is just a yearly. 
this is just a yearly, you know, this is our first year here. So this is one of the things that we just got going on right now. Um, this is all her pretty much too. So, and this nice guy right here, he decided to tear up the couch. So we appreciated that. So we had to end up getting a cover for that. So we're teaching him to stay off the couch now so we can get new furniture. Uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, like I said, with all the crown moldings inside the house um, are, doing, are doing really good. Um, as you can feel, like I said, everywhere inside the house feels great in here. And we're at 76 in here right now. And like you said, it, it, I think our 76 is a lot different than someone else's, someone, yeah, someone else's home. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It's a lot different than someone else's 76. So, but yeah, master, uh, master bedroom here to the right. Before we go outside in the backyard, let me just say a couple things. I want to say I have so much respect for landscapers now. You know, I've done, we've, me and my wife have done a lot of this stuff uh, ourselves now. So, and it's, uh, it's been a lot of work. We started from uh, about 19 tons of dirt uh, and nothing, big old trench back there to what you see now. So, come on, take a look. It's not finished product yet by, by any means. So just a little something, for, just a little something for right now that we got done. We've had some sod put in, a couple slabs, uh, a slab over here. And if you want to take a look over here, we got a grass border. We got this border put in and some rocks, man. It's, I don't know if you guys, if you guys want to go back and take a look at some of the other videos, you can see what we started with. And it wasn't, it definitely wasn't this. <laughs> so a lot of long work. Well, we appreciate, you know, I love doing it though, especially being a homeowner. So it's, uh, it's been, it's been a fun time. So we got some uh, pavers here that we're going to do some stuff up front with for the garbage cans, but uh good time though, man. We've, uh, we've been, we've uh, really appreciated our year in here. It's been good. And one of my wife's favorite areas where she can just uh, hop in the pool a little bit after she tans and all that good stuff that she does. So we added in a, a little 10 by six uh, Intex above ground for now, just a little something. So I still got to put the tin up and everything. So. I thought this was turf, the grass is so green. Yeah, man, well, it used to be a lot better than that, but here in Arizona, as you can see that guy up there, yeah, he likes water, man. But like I said, just starting out right now, just something to, something to get us going, getting out of the dirt, because we were having a lot of problems with, uh, with just having, with it raining a lot and it being really muddy, so we wanted to get in here and get something in here really quick. So. 16 tons of dirt. 19. Oh, 19. 19. 19 tons of dirt, man, just to get this thing raised up just to add sod in there. So I added another slab back there in a the storage shed, man. And we call that game time for now. So, but yeah, that's, that's what we got going on here for a year. And like I said, we, we, uh, we love the house. We wouldn't have it any other way. You know, we think everybody in Arizona should live like this, especially our energy efficiency. You know, a lot of people don't like the outside of it, but our energy efficiency is second to none. It's second to none. It's probably my wife right there. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, our energy efficiency is second to none, guys. So, I mean, I don't have, I don't have anything bad to say about this thing. Um, I had my doubts about it before we first moved in, but now none at all, none at all. So some of the things that we were talking about earlier uh, in the inspection, we had a couple of uh, things with the paint, which was no issue at all. So uh, another thing was, uh, we end up caulking the entire underneath the house all the way around, around the entire house so that we could keep bugs out. Well, when we first moved in, we were having uh, uh, some bees flying in and out. So we uh, end up caulking the front and then just end up caulking the entire house just to save ourselves from bugs getting in there. So yes, it did work. Yeah, very well, much so. So uh, that was definitely going to be a big issue, but that worked right away. So that's a, that was a major thing that we, uh, that was kind of made, that's a lot of call. <laughs> so, but that, that was definitely, definitely something good. So, but man, as far as that, the insulation in this thing is, I'll say it again, it's, it's, it's second to none, man. We wouldn't want to have it any other way. So. You mentioned your electric bill before the solar panels and after. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, before we got in, we had, uh, took us a couple months before we got the solar started. So our bill was about, I don't know, about 260 or so around there for a couple months or so. Uh, as soon as we got the solar, that thing dropped to about 46, down to about seven, 12. So it fluctuates in between like 15 bucks. You know, I'm hoping to get it to zero. So it probably will be as soon as these hot summers come. So it's not even hot yet. So, but we're getting there. 
but yeah, that was, uh, like I said, that's one of the hotter it is, the more energy we save. In the garage now, um, I'm not complete yet, but just some things that I'm starting on is uh, getting my wall together. And uh, once again, everything was so easy to mount on the walls. I uh, just used the lines. I counted the lines up or down. I uh, put the drill in there, put my caps in there and hung things on the wall. So as you can see, that that turned out really, that's turning out really good. I'm fine. I'm trying to find some place to uh, put uh, my amusement, my dart boards and my ping pong table, which I really love, which I trained my sons too well because I can't win anymore. Oh, and no. hopefully they don't see this because I don't want them to know that and I can't beat them. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I want to get this stuff out of here so I can uh, start training to beat him again. Yeah, so I can start training to beat him again. And on that note, Jay, take a look up there. There's a ping pong robot. So <laughs> daddy can train. Automate ping pong. <laughs> oh, man. No, just kidding. But I'm not. But yeah, so, um, but um, just trying, like I said, it's only been a year. Just trying to get some things out of here. Yes, those are Atari 2600s, if anybody's looking. So, uh, but yeah, man, I want to, uh, I don't want to leave my, it's not my pride and joy, but uh, one of my favorite things, I don't want to leave outside in the, in the heat. So I'm going to uh, uh, work on getting some of this stuff out back to and maybe build in a tent or something. But first year, man, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll check in again in maybe another year and we'll see what, what I've got done and what I haven't got done. So thank you guys again, man. Appreciate it. Just leaving you guys with uh, this last bit of uh, information about uh, home ownership uh it's been real fun man but it's been an adventure every day is an adventure uh i was trying to multitask in here and get a few things done at one time and that's just not possible so i'm just going to live in this thing and try and go room to room day to day and see what i can get done front yard backyard so swimming pool now that she makes me do so i'm gonna I'm going to leave you guys with this is one heck of an adventure and hopefully you guys will get to take it with me in another year. It's uh, one of those things where you can't uh, get up in the middle of the night and call the maintenance man. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, and having a mortgage is uh, knowing that it's going towards uh, you and not someone else. And that's, that's major, man. So it's another thing to appreciate.